welcome back beauties so if you want to have a full soft and luscious hair then this hair mask is for you let me show you guys how i achieved this So the first ingredient you're going to be using is ginger juice. Ginger juice is an anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial agent that improves the blood circulation in the scalp to stimulate hair follicles and promote hair growth. The next ingredient we use is coconut oil. Coconut oil is a prime choice for anyone who is looking to have better hair for all the good reasons there are. It's rich in lauric acid and this helps replenish the protein loss in your hair to prevent even excessive hair damage and promote hair growth. Now, the next item we use is garlic. Garlic has been proven to be an effective solution to acute hair loss, also referred to as alopecia. Garlic is also another strong antibacterial agent that keeps the scalp healthy and ensures that it receives all the nutrients to improve hair growth. And we'll be using three cloves. Now, the next item we'll be using is honey. Honey also has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and emollient properties that keep your scalp clean and healthy, thereby aiding hair growth. And now, the last but not the least is coconut milk. This is not coconut milk, but we'll be making it in a short while. So, coconut milk is a rich source of vitamins B and C and lauric acid. Now, all this help to nourish the scalp and promote hair growth. So, right now, we are going to start by making our coconut milk. I'm going to go through all the processes on camera. So, in case you don't know how to, then you will know today. So I'm going to blend this coconut, but in order for me to do that easily, I'm going to have to grate this before I blend it. So I'll grate all of this and the quantity of coconut I got was equal to one and a half cups. So as you can see, I'm done grating the coconut and I'm just transferring it into a bowl and I'm going to add in some water here, warm water actually. I'm using warm water so it will soften it and it will be easier to blend and the milk will come out better. So you can use warm water, not boiling hot water though. So I'm going to let this sit for at least 5 to 7 minutes and then I would blend it. So the quantity of water I added was also one and half cup. So I'm going to let this sit for five minutes like i said and then i'll blend so you want to blend this into a smooth puree and once i'm done blending i'm going to strain this so you can strain it through a cheesecloth or a sieve but it all boils down to what works best for you So as you sieve this, just press the remaining solids as much as possible to get maximum liquid and then you discard the coconut chaff. So if you've pressed enough and you've gotten the liquid you want and you feel like there's still some milk left in the chaff, you can repeat the process 
by pouring warm water in it again and blending it and sieving it again but at this point i was okay with what i had and i felt like there was no more milk in the chaff so i just left it at that and if you feel that the milk is too thick then you can just add some more water to reduce the thickness of the milk so this is the quantity of milk i got from the coconut and it was even more than what i expected moving on I'm going to grate the three cloves of garlic I have. Guys, I would advise you to blend this instead of grating it. So you don't end up with uh, garlic residue in your hair. The quantity of garlic I had was not that much for me to blend in my blender because my blender is big. That was why I had to grate it instead. But I would advise you to blend it instead so you get a smooth puree and that way you won't end up with too much residue in your hair but i was able to get rid of everything so it's still fine but bottom line is you need to blend this crush it whichever way you feel like going about it so now we are going to start and I'm going to pour in one tablespoon of ginger juice. Then the next thing I'll add is four tablespoons of coconut oil. And now the garlic I blended or grated earlier is next and I'm going to add that into the mixture. And now it's time for me to add the coconut milk. So I'm just stirring it again so that there's no water settled at the bottom. And I'm going to add in six tablespoons of coconut milk. So whatever is left of this coconut milk, I'm just going to store it in the refrigerator. I'm going to freeze it for when next I want to use it. So if you want to store your coconut milk so you can use it whenever you feel like, pour it in an ice tray and let it freeze and then you can store the frozen cubes in a plastic bag and it can last for one month. Now the last item I'll add into this mixture is two tablespoons of honey. So now that you've added everything in the container, you just stir this thoroughly to combine all the ingredients. Stir it as much as you can and you'd notice that the more you keep stirring, the more it gets thicker. And that way it's even easier to apply on your hair so everything doesn't run away from your hair and pour on the ground or make a mess all over your body so just keep stirring it stir for a while and then you notice that it will start thickening a little bit so once you're sure that everything is well combined then you can just apply this onto your scalp and massage your hair for a while and leave it on for at least 30 minutes then you wash it off with mild shampoo so use this remedy at least once a week for desired results so that is it about today's video do this and your hair will grow beautifully it will be full it will be soft and all things nice and beautiful thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and 
please like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye